Hello and welcome. You join us for what is the Now the Nation's dynamic duo number three in the milestone section. Uh, today we have been treated to two Danish players who ply their trade in the Bundesliga playing in the German League. As you can see, the first one up here is Brown Larsen. He is a Hoffenheim winger, left winger only, no alternative positions on him. Three star, four star with a high, sorry, medium, medium work rate and six foot tall. Um, as I covered in other videos, he is a right footed winger on the left wing, which some people like, some people don't like. Useful for cutting in and having like finesse shots in the top corner kind of thing, but not useful for crossing if you're crossing off his weak foot. Although he has got a four star weak foot, so it could be worse. It could be worse. As you can see, the card is. Uh, decent pace, a bit top heavy on the shooting, which isn't a problem really. It's fairly level all the way through. Dribbling is very solid, um, everything between 82 and 90, and half decent physicals as well. Defending is nothing to write home about, but that's not what you expect from a left winger. He's got no traits, no early cross, and no flair, nothing like that. And he's the first of the two players that you're competing for in this milestone. As normal, we have five different criteria for this um, pair of players. Uh, the first one up um, earns a two-player pack for the two-footed item. You have to score four goals using players with a minimum four-star weak foot in the life of a friendly manager of piece. As always, this is entirely in, within managerial masterpiece, which is online against other players. Uh, next one up is Danish backing. You have to assist four goals using players from Denmark in the life of friendly manager masterpiece. Again, fairly straightforward. For these two, as it says, well, it doesn't say, but it really between the lines, you do not have to win the game. You could quite easily go there. You and your opponent, whoever you come across with, could you could just allow each other to score four goals and assist four goals just to complete these two straight away with one match. This one gives a small gold players pack, which is six six one, I think. Six gold, six rare uh, six players, six rare. Sorry, six players, six gold, one rare. Sorry, get my teeth in place there. And next one up is gold counter. You have to score twelve goals in Manjura Masterpiece. Um, for that you earn a gold pack and the Daniel Daniel Nate, I think it's Daniel Nate. Now this is the other card, both 85 rated. Is he Daniel? Nicholas Nate. Who's Daniel Nate? Who am I thinking of? Um, he's a left-footed central midfielder, six foot one tool, as it says, medium medium work rates, three star, four star, and again, decent all round, well rounded card. Passing is solid, dribbling is solid, defending and physicals are solid, and pace is good too. Um, again, top heavy on the shooting. A low and free kick accuracy curve, but they're not exactly what you want. He does what you need quite well, judging by the green bars all over the shop. Look at it. Um, no alternative positions for him either. So two half decent cards there. Third one up, uh, fourth one up, sorry, steady delivery. Assist using the Nate card. So you can do the first three without Nate, and then once you've got Nate, you can attempt the last two. Assist using Dynamic Duo Nate in four separate matches in the life of a friendly manager or piece. Again, you don't need to win. You can draw, you can lose, you can whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you get the assists with him. And then win eight. Obviously, got win in the name. You have to win eight matches with Nate in your starting lineup in order to complete this last section and to earn the Brun Larsen card to go with the Nate one. So that's, that's the criteria, and to start with, we're going to be using this squad. So, um, fairly straightforward. Um, Danish players up front with minimum four-star weak foot, which makes it handy. Uh, the fact that they're both in Spain means I could use the Spanish players for the rest of my squad, uh, and the icon as well, which I was lucky to pack enough, uh, lucky enough to pack... Um, a few days ago, um, and I've filled out the rest of my um, subs bench with silver players in order to bring the average rating down to 80 in order to play 
uh, strongest players in the starting eleven. As you can see, the strikers are the lowest rated by a fair whack because Denmark do not have any um, rare gold strikers within the game. Um, the only ones I had rare gold players in my squad were uh, Schmeichel, Hoiberg and Delaney. Of them really, none of them really fitted out the scoring goals and getting assists criteria. But there we go. This is what we're going to be using. And hopefully getting those goals, getting those assists, and then competing for the wins after that. Uh, but that's how I'm going to be attempting mine. How are you going to be doing yours? Which squad are you going to use? Have you got Danish players already? Some people with a loud drop are going to be laughing if you've got the loud drop icon. Because he will be... Probably four-star weak foot, but definitely one of the best daily strikers in the game this year for sure. So, we'll end that there. That's what we've got. Hopefully, all the different criteria actually don't have any problems registering. Um, seeing as last year we had some issues when objectives were set by EA, and then when you completed them, they were not counting as done. Um, although in FIFA 23, we haven't seemed to have that problem with anything so far. But you never know when they may crop up. We didn't get any warning last year anyway. So we'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Appreciate that. Hopefully it helps. And let me know if you have any problems or if you're excited about getting your hands on these cards. Thank you for watching. And I'll speak to you this time tomorrow. Bye-bye.